Hello everyone, this is Akai, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Day Sunday, and yes, probably many of you are wondering where have I been? Um, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, I really haven't been feeling like I wanted to record. I didn't want to record and, you know, create bad videos, so I took about a week off um, just to get kind of back into it. So to make up for it, we have a decent game with the Akatsuki, which as many of you know, I love the ship. It's a great tier 8 ship, especially, actually I guess it is kind of relevant because they are changing the IFHE ability here soon. Uh, it is going to be nerfed. They're also changing the cruiser armor layout to make them a little bit more tankier. So it's going to change uh, how the Akizuki plays and how well it does. So we'll see how, um, what it's going to be like in the future. I am joined with one of my clanmates, uh, Yugumo Kaini. I probably mispronounced his name. Uh, he is in the, the tier 8 premium IGN Kaga. So this map, or this battle, better yet, we are actually top tier, which is fantastic because the Akatsuki is really strong. And as you can see, the enemy team has an Asasio and Hatsuharu, which is not particularly great for the enemy team because, well, they're nothing compared to the Akatsuki. Obviously, the Asasio, and I don't even think, I think only the Asasio has better detect than the Akizuki. And unfortunately for the Hatsuharu, is actually going to get dropped by Yugumo here. And is going to take a torpedo, I believe. Memory serves me. And finally Cap B, and we're actually, yep, going to push out. And Hatsuharu has taken significant damage. Should be easy picking, but he does smoke up, which is actually to his benefit, because that does mean that I'm not going to be able to really dish out the damage. Getting support from uh, Yugumo, getting those fighters, even though uh, it would be nice to uh, shoot down some planes. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Now... Our team has pushed up towards C, and they're not going to have a good time because, as you can see, the enemy team has uh, almost slumming train for the most part, uh, with most of their forces up towards the C cap. And unfortunately, we have just lost our Arizona to the Asasio's torpedoes. And yeah, that is by far the most dangerous thing at the moment. Now, fortunately, we have captured B. This is going to help us in the long run, uh, which is really beneficial. As always, destroyers need to focus on the objectives. Doing damage is nice, especially in the Akazuki. It's fantastic. That's kind of the fun thing that some players like to focus all too much on but capping is very much important now I am gonna try to get into A and try to both cause damage as well as cap and fortunately for us the Hatsuharu has unfortunately come uh, right in front of our path and this is just no no fair for the Hatsuharu take out the Hatsuharu that's our very first skill of the game slowing up and smoking up to take out the enemy Normandy. And once again, Hatsuharu, Hatsuharu Akizuki uh, has very fast reloading guns. Uh, and with IFHE skill, can for the most part penetrate uh, the uh, deck armor. But you're going to be focusing predominantly on the superstructure. Normandy does disappear, but our last salvo is going to actually make the kill for us. So that's actually our second uh, ship uh, of the game, and at least we're keeping up with the enemy team. But they have just taken out our New Orleans as well as our Malfi. And things are looking pretty bad for us at the moment. We have lost four ships to their two. 
And one nice thing about the Akizuki, actually it's kind of a characteristic of the Akizuki close range, the shell velocity is very fast. It's about, uh, I believe, it is about 900 to 1000 meters per second, but over a distance it creates an arcing shell. So you can actually, you can actually shoot over islands with relative ease but close range it is quite deadly against destroyers because the shell velocity is quite fast uh, and you have a very fast reload time on those guns so they're quite deadly even though they are very small caliber shells you can still dish out the damage now once again Losing IFHE, or better yet, having the diminished return of the soon to be IFHE is unfortunate, it is going to change how the ship plays. Granted, the Akizuki can actually uh, deal damage without IFHE because it still has a very good penetration because of the uh, update to that. But I am very curious how the Akizuki, Kitakaze, and Haraguma are going to be after the update. But anyway, our enemy team is starting to push down uh, from the seaside. They have taken care of all the forces up there. And things aren't looking particularly great for us at this moment. Now, there is actually one current player that is making a interesting choice um, it's usually a very low tier but even high tier a lot of the destroyers like to charge after the carrier and try to hunt it down but instead it is actually an Otago that is pushing towards the enemy carrier trying to find it but this enemy carrier is actually a lot smarter than what you would assume. Now pushing down here kind of by myself, CB is coming our direction. We're probably going to have to smoke. That is an Algeri. Uh, and the enemy team is going to be kind of in our direction. So do pop smoke. Going to go ahead and open up on this Algeri. Try to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Uh, Algeri is actually speed boosting so most of our initial south is not going to be great, but once we get kind of on the mark, it uh, should uh, start really eating up the damage. Do get a fire, which is actually really beneficial. Now, the other issue, I guess, with the Akizuki is her lack of torpedoes, or better yet, her limited ability of torpedoes. She only has one set with a reload booster. Uh, they hit pretty hard. They have a decent range, 10 kilometers, but they take forever to reload. And once again, you only have one set. So if you don't have your reload booster, uh, you're kinda SOL. Now I am going to go ahead and get turned around uh, because just in case this Algeri decides to rush us, uh, it's always a good idea to get in a position where you can reposition and escape if you need to. Getting really good defended base capture and starting to deal out damage, things are still a little bit of a concern and it does look like the Hago has finally found the uh, enemy Graf Zeppelin, uh, but he is going to get focused down. I don't think he's going to survive this map or this time. Now make a mistake right here. Do get spotted because I do fire one more Savo. Got a little, um, little crazy there. A little. Uh, zealous on trying to deal out the damage uh, so unfortunately we're actually gonna have to try to escape and disengage as quickly as possible possible fortunately we actually do manage to pull away uh, take no damage from the enemy team now the enemy team is actually just ahead of one ship we are ahead in points they are unfortunately flipping the cap and somehow this New Mexico 
is able to fully cap out be one of the rare experience uh, times where the New Mexico is actually a battleship actually manages to cap without being detected which is relatively surprising now the only other downside of the Akazuki it does have the IGN smoke uh, which is not as long as the USN smoke and you also don't have that many charges so once you run through your smoke you're kind of SOL so you're gonna have to be a little bit more frugal or better yet you have to think of a better another way to actually open up without really uh, being detected which uh, Kazuki can definitely do because it can fire over islands and I'm very surprised with this Graf Zeppelin. This Graf Zeppelin did run away uh, from the Otago, but is being detected uh, by B. And gonna try to take out this Ajuri. This Ajuri is very low in health. There we go. That is our third kill of the game. Um, once again, Akizuki, so much fun to play. Its AA is actually really decent. Uh, can definitely shoot down planes with relative ease uh, but if a CV wants to take you out a CV is going to take you out uh, they are going to lose planes but they can spot you they can uh, really just zealously uh, attack you so kind of the issue I guess with CVs Graf Zeppelin is spotted Asasio is also spotted New Mexico is pushing our way Main focus is to get rid of this Graf Zeppelin. If we get rid of the carrier, that's going to be very beneficial for our team because that does mean uh, that their enemy team is not going to be able to really uh, rely on air support. Uh, so I am requesting Yugamo here to keep the enemy CV spotted as long as possible. Let me deal out that damage. Uh, and this Graf Zeppelin is pretty much screwed. I, there's no way he's going to be able to get out of here alive. Uh, he's too low on health and he's not going to be able to really disengage. CV does try to get in there with some rocket planes to try to get rid of me, uh, but it's, it's just far too late. It's way too late. He waited too long, got a little aggressive there. Uh, does try to actually hit us. And there's also the Asasio. This is the worst, worst position to be in. Um, Asasio be coming out against a Akazuki. There we go. Earn Confederate there. And he slows up. I'm, I'm assuming he doesn't have his smoke ready. I don't know. Because he waited far too long uh, for his smoke. And even though he's not detected, I'm still just going to fire because I can just blind fire my guns uh, reload so quickly. If I can get rid of him, that would be fantastic. And there we go. That is actually Kraken Unleashed, our fifth kill of the game, uh, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't get always get to use that that often. But the Asasu does get some amount of revenge, does take out the Duke of York. And did drop torpe torpedoes hoping to catch that New Mexico on the broadside, but he's actually sitting behind the island, which is interesting. Wasn't really expecting him to do that, but he does, and he's going to survive for at least a little bit longer. But ooh, our team has kind of brought it back. We are still neck and neck, which is crazy, uh, but we're at least ahead one ship. New Mexico comes out uh, to start attacking. Fortunately, our vanguard does take out the enemy Zara. Uh, all that's left on the enemy team is a New Mexico and a Hipper. Now, with the fact that the torpedoes were a miss, uh, we're just going to have to rely on our guns, which is not a bad thing for the Akizuki. Uh, but I am going to be... A little, little bit smart about this. Gonna try to get some amount of island cover uh, to try to minimize that amount of damage against any battleship. Now, 
when dealing with battleships, what you can always do is play against their downsides, their slow tra tra traverse, uh, their slow reload time, and the fact that battleship AP uh, for the most destroyers doesn't do all that damage. So when battling against AP on battleships, always show broadside. Uh, it, it will minimize the amount of damage uh, that will be received. But now that we're behind the island, we can quite easily take out this New Mexico. Uh, and granted, we're not doing that huge amount of damage, but the fact that we can just con almost continuously pump out HE, uh, it's just so much fun. God. That is the, our sixth kill of a game. All that's left on the enemy team is a hipper. And this poor sod is facing off against a Kaga, a Vanguard, and a Sinop, and Akizuki, of course. Which, unfortunately, is probably going to mean the end of him. Now, our Vanguard is actually extraordinarily low on health, um, but somehow actually manages, <laughs> manages to disengage and is actually going to survive this. Now, fortunately for us, the Vanguard and I believe the Synop uh, aren't going to be able to shoot at this uh, Hipper, but unfortunately for me, Yugamo is going to be obviously focusing on this Hipper. Now, this battle was really fantastic. Uh, I think basic speed was 2,905. Damage-wise, pretty good. 129k is nothing to shake a stick at. Hopefully I said that expression right. But anyways, this hipper is going to go down in a little bit. We're going to speed cheeky, see if we can take a seventh kill. Uh, granted, not dealing out that much damage to it. But if we can get this hipper and if we can actually land our shells, that's the only downside of the Akizuki is at this range against a faster target. It's a lot more difficult, but you can start landing your shots and that is gonna be it for the hipper. He's gonna eat this torpedo right here. And that is gonna be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what we saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great, fantastic day. Sai Jen.